you said last week you used clear ads to manage your DSP. Our experience uh, was not good. Uh, they didn't do a good job uh, and wasted our money um, and tanked our sales. Is there a better agency for DSP? Yeah, there's there's lots of options. I mean, which one is better is is hard to say. We we we've been using Clear Ads now for uh, two and a half, almost three months, and um, and it it keeps getting better and better. So you know, we're happy with them. They are, you know, uh, they 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 didn't make any guarantee when we started. They you know they looked at our products, they looked at our brand, and they said, hey, we think this is a good fit. Um, there's no guarantee, but you know, it'll take us two months to kind of really get in there and you know test everything and then you know then we see whether it it will work right in the in the long run um and it it looks like it will and they're doing well and and um uh so we're happy with it but amazon has made a lot of uh different uh agencies uh available for this and they actually list them so if you go to amazon if you just you know, go into google and do amazon dsp do a search on that um, it'll pull up Amazon's page for DSP, and then you can look at partners. There's a partners tab, and you'll see there's there's 20 or, or more um, people in there for that. Uh, I, I I absolutely feel the pain on this. I mean, we have used many agencies over the years. Um, you know, we did Chica Metrics. We did, uh, oh, uh, I forget um, what they were called. But yeah, we probably tried five or six of them. And um, and we've lost money every single time. You know, increased ad spend, lower lower revenue, and uh, and and then the fee on top of it. So, um, we we were we've been very careful. We handle all our Amazon PPC uh, in house, just because we realize that you know we can actually do it better than than any of the agencies that we've tried. Um, just because we have greater familiarity with the with the with the product and the brand, yeah. and. Um, and we are very vested in the outcome, which yeah. in many cases, an agency, you know, they're vested in making money for the agency rather than making money for you. So it, it, there can be a, a conflict of interest, uh, especially if they're being paid on, on ad spend because they'll drive up your ad spend to get, you know, paid their, their percentage of the ad spend, regardless of whether it's really ma increasing your sales and getting you a profit, right? Right. Um, so it's something you have to be very aware of when you start with an agency. Um, that said, uh, Amazon DSP is, you know, uh, way more advanced than Amazon PPC, what you can do in Seller Central, and uh, the metrics are way better. So you need somebody that, you know, understands that system really well. Um, and you, you can't just, I mean, well, you can, but it's very expensive to sign up for it yourself. Um, if you go through the agencies, then, you know, you don't have to spend or commit nearly as much money. Yep. Um, so, um, yeah, I would I would do the, the Google search, uh, go to Amazon's page for DSP, see their partner list, and uh, you can read about each one and um, talk to them and pick one that, you, that you're comfortable with. Um, all that said, you know, DSP is is probably going to be, you know, uh, you may be committing five or eight thousand dollars in ad spend for three months, um, which is way better than committing thirty thousand a month. Like, yep. you know, if you go direct, um, and then there's going to be a fee on top of that. So, you may be committing ten thousand um, for for two or three months um, to to kind of get to the point of you know. Is this going to really work? Is it going to be um, a, a good ROI on your investment? Um, we we held off for a long time, and then we jumped in eventually, and and you know it it, it will pay off. Uh, again, we're very determined to make it pay off, and, and you know, we think with clear ads that um, I mean every every single week when we do the review, it's getting better and better. Um, and uh, you know we kind of figured out that for every dollar we invest with them. Um, which is the fee and the, the the budget, the advertising budget that we give them, we need to get at least at least four times that much revenue in sales, right, mm. for yeah. this to work. Yeah. Um, so we kind of figured out our profit margin and all of that, and then you know did the math on the the spend and the the fees and all of that, and you know if we can make at least a four x return on advertising spend, then. Um, uh, it'll work, sense. and and you know it'll it'll get better and better from there. And uh, and and you know we we have 
seen them exceed that. Um, so, so we're happy with it, but yeah, find your provider and take it from there. Yeah. An additional two cents on this is, um, there is also a time and a place for certain types of advertising. Um, one thing, even just on Amazon PPC and, and then it kind of accentuates if you're going into DSP, um, you want to make sure that you have a product that gets conversions, right? If your conversion rate is uh, low, if you have a high ACOS, um, if you have, you know, something that's not quite optimized the best that it could be. And Star you, rating is yeah, what and, it you, needs to be. and you throw a bunch of money at it, um, you're just going to make it worse. You're going to be getting more bad conversions, more bad ACOS, which is going to give you worse ranking um, and a higher cost per click. You know, so there there is a, a time and a place. So that is also one thing to look at. Not only, okay, yeah, you have the agency. What are they doing? How are they doing it? Do they know what they're doing? You have that aspect, but you also have, okay, is your product, is your brand um, ready for that level of exposure? And this is something you'll hear from from agencies, uh, at least some of them. You know, they, they will put a lot of um, emphasis on whether your brand and whether your listings are advertising ready. Yeah. And, uh, and that's hugely important because you can't market yourself out of a bad product. You can't market yourself out of terrible reviews. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you would have to spend far more money on advertising to make up for those things yeah. than, than it's worth. So, the, the, yeah, it's key to have your, um, your images, you know, really well done. It's key to have the listing just really well done. Um, have brand registry, you know, with your trademark and all of that. So you can go in there, you can do create enhanced brand content and, you know, do everything possible to make sure that the listing is as good as it can be and converts as well as possible. And, and another thing to, to keep an eye on is, um, the conversion rate. The better your conversion rate is, the less you pay for advertising. The worse your conversion rate is, the more you pay for advertising. So, um, uh, if you find that um, you're being told to broaden your keywords and you know try to try to get more traffic from more keywords, if those keywords are not relevant, if they don't convert well, you're really hurting your listing. You're hurting your conversion rate, yeah. and you're driving up your advertising cost. Yep. So uh, you don't want to do broad shoot. You want to be as as laser targeted as you can on the keywords that actually make sense. Yeah. And, that, and a lot of a lot of coaches and a lot of people are talking about that uh, in the last you know six to nine months where you know if you're getting a product started you need to be laser focused you need to know exactly what keywords are going after um, but but going back to this this DSP aspect yeah you just want to make sure that your product is ready you want to make sure it's, it's ready for that level of exposure and um, you know make sure that of course yeah now the agency who's doing it they know what they're doing they know what they're targeting um, and they're targeting things that are relevant, et cetera. But um, yeah, so hopefully that answers that. Um, sorry that you had a bad experience. Um, definitely check out other ones and, um, and uh, see what they have to say.